often do you feed them? So everybody's different. Some iguanas eat every day, every other day. Some snakes eat once a week. Some of the dogs get a full bag of food and whenever it runs out, I fill it back up. Oh my gosh, you they're know. big. Yeah, I have bigger snakes that eat like once a month. What, once a month? Yeah, I mean, I feed them a huge seven pound rabbit. Oh my you know, goodness. and it takes a while for them to digest it. Really, is a full time job yeah, trying to keep them not exactly. hungry. Exactly. Can we feed one? Absolutely. Wow, you weren't kidding. Yeah. It's a lot of food. But I mean, that's just a little bit. A little bit? A little bit. Looks I, like a lot bit. <laughs> that thing gets filled up and then I have another one. So here we have bananas, lettuce, papaya, kale, sweet potatoes, uh, squash. Um, we have some peaches and pears and plums. Eating healthy. Yeah, everybody eats, you know, right, the, the best they can. So we'll start off with some bananas first. Okay. You take three of those. Okay. I'll take the other four. What? We have rats as well too. Yeah, I was so like, that's not fruit. <laughs> I buy all my rats uh, pre-frozen. Okay. So they send them to me as if you would order a package on Amazon, but I order rats. No. All sizes from colossal rats, mammoth rats, jumbo rats, small rats, all the way down to pinky mice. Regular mice. And the postman's chicks. like, hello, sir, your rats are here. Yeah, they ship it to me on dry ice. So, so yeah, this is one of my kiddos right here. One of the babies. Yes, these guys are hybrids. They're Grand Cayman blue iguanas cross with. Can I come in here? Yeah, come on. Okay. The Grand, look, you see the girl up there? Oh my goodness. Yeah, so if you peel one banana, okay. wiggle it in front of her, and she'll go eat it from your hand. Oh my goodness. You can goodness. step on here, it's pretty sturdy. Okay. Hi, so, baby girl. What's up Hi. there, big guy? I got fruit. Oh, there you go. Hey, don't oh. bite me. You want that? That's for you. Hey, don't Are you, you hungry? bite me. Oh. I got more. She's so, not hungry no more. This is, a, this, is, this is the couple here. Are they now, in love? They're in love for sure. Oh, I love love. She kicks him yeah. out sometimes and she stays up there and he stays down here. She's the queen up she here. She is the queen. On her throne. There you go, baby girl. I'll put it here for you. Enjoy. Now, Every animal here has a story. Yeah. Their own individual. These animals particularly came from a group um, I got. So all your big, I call them, they're called cyclura, which okay. are like rock iguanas. Some are from Dominican Republic, some are from Haiti, some are from Cayman Islands, some are from uh, Cuba. So. All over the place. Yeah, they're all over the place. And uh, this lady in, in California had a whole bunch for years, like 10, 15 years. Her husband passed away oh. and then she kind of like, got a little too overwhelmed and ended up giving them up to my old job I used to work at. Oh. So. So now you've got international lizards everywhere. Exactly, exactly. Oh my goodness. So now we have some rats. I see that. We fed vegetarians, herbivores. Now it's time to feed the carnivores. All right, I'm ready. So this guy is called a Nile monitor. Okay. Now you know, of course, the Nile River is in Africa. Yeah. And this guy battles hippos, crocodiles, all types of crit lions. He's a yeah, he's a badass. Thank you for letting me feed, feed the one that's. Well, I have to save something special for you. Yeah. He's actually in this water bowl right here. He is. So I'm gonna be right behind you. Don't be scared. Okay. Here's your rat. Just keep it, you know, a distance. And now you're gonna wiggle it right at the edge of that piece of wood. Okay. You can walk in there. You're fine. Okay. Now you see him. You can squat down a little bit. Oh my gosh, Mike. Now, he's, he's gonna swim a little bit. Okay. But once he pops up again, he's oh, showing there he that is. rat. Oh, hey, watch baby. Yep. No, oh. there you go. You can, like, let go? Yep, you can like pinch it oh. and let it go. So now. He eats underwater? He eats anywhere he wants to. What? This guy will eat fish. This guy will raid crocodile nests and eat the crocodile eggs. He'll eat other lizards. He'll eat venomous snakes. He'll eat little baby monkeys if he can. He really doesn't care. They're full on scavengers. Wow. And all these animals are super smart. They're super intelligent. They know people are here, you know, cameras are out, and they're like, you know, he's they're sussing nervous. Out, he's like exactly. sussing out the environment. I built a relationship with him, you know, but yeah. as anybody else comes through, he's like, who are you? Yeah, what are like, you doing? Yeah. You know, he's a big kid. He's about six foot long. Six foot? Yeah. He, he climbs all the way up. You can take a rat and run it around in the cage. He'll run around everything. Oh my goodness. He'll climb the tree like it's nothing. So if you see those in the jungle. Stay away from them. Stay away. That was cool. So yeah, we're losing a little bit of daylight. Yeah. It's getting dark quick, so we're gonna have time for maybe one, maybe two more. Okay. But I'm show you some of my close to favorites. Oh, you said it. I say they're my close to favorite because they're just so prehistoric. It's like a dinosaur. Ah, uh, yeah, you know I love my dinos, man. Yeah. So this right here 
is Mr. Tetong. Mr. Tetong. Take that. Okay. And we'll go inside. Now these are rhinoceros iguanas. Okay. You can hand feed him. He's really sweet. He's sweet? Yes. Hey, baby. He loves papaya. He looks like he does. Now these guys are from Haiti, Dominican Republic. They're critically endangered. Oh no. They're also rock iguanas. He really loves his papaya. He's oh yeah. He's not wasting any time on he, this. He <laughs> smashes food all day. Now Gosh. if you look, that's why they call them rhino iguanas. See that rhino horn up there? Oh yeah. Exactly. And he loves to be pet too. These guys are real social. So whenever you get a little too close when you're feeding, he's like, okay, you want to touch me? He'll just puff oh, himself he wants up. A belly rub. Yeah, exactly. So he's too um, cute. I'll let you actually hold this guy over here. Oh my he's gosh. Real sweet. Take these bananas. Okay. And we'll go check this guy out. I'm excited. He's been looking at all of us the whole time. He's super sweet. His hey. name is Papa Smurf. All right. So this is the guy. This is Papa Smurf. He's probably our most friendliest iguana we have here. Okay. What's up, buddy? I got some bananas. If you show him that little banana, he'll come flying out. Okay. He loves to eat. You can just wiggle it a little bit. Come here. <laughs> He's getting a little shy because of the cams. He's Don't camera worry. shy? Oh, everybody gets camera shy every now and then, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you hungry, buddy? Come on, let's go. I got food. Your favorite is big bananas. Come on. <laughs> come on. Don't be shy. These are dad's friends. Come on. Oh. Super slow. Now, the reason why I say sometimes they get camera shy, okay. a lot of people that have animals, they will always, you know, I want your fingers here. A lot of people will always, you know, film their animals 24 seven or people that have like a zoo or a sanctuary. Mm -hmm. I like to give these guys privacy. Yeah. You know, I'm not always sticking the vlog camera in their face. I'm not even always touching them. You know, some animals I'll feed them, I'll hang out with them. And over time, I want them to come to me. Yeah, you, know? you want them to want you. Exactly, <laughs> I don't want to keep go chasing them, grabbing them, yeah. holding them, taking photos with them. You know, when I first hang out with them, I just want to build a bond with them. Yeah, so they trust you. Exactly. And especially when you're feeding them so many different things they like, yeah. you become their best friends, whether they don't like that you or not. That makes sense. If my best friends feed me things I like, <laughs> I like them a little more too. Exactly. So this guy, he likes that you can actually hold him too. So okay. you're going to come down, mm -hmm. same way, base of the tail right here. Okay. Chest, boom. Okay. Now you're gonna put the chest a little higher than the back, okay? Okay. And if you wanna get him from down there, well, I can just put him in your arms, but I know you got, I got this. It. Yep. Okay. Same way. Now he's postured up for you, back of the tail. Yep, you're good. All the way underneath. Okay. Boom. Perfect. Now hold his head, you know, top up a little. There you go. I did Look it. Look at that. He did it. Super cool. How now cute. he's posing. You can pop a Smurf. <laughs> good boy, Bubby. That's a good boy. I usually I hold them like, you know, put their whole belly on my arm, but he's, he's chilling. <laughs> he's happy You boy. got that. Look at that, man. Ah! <laughs> so cool. He does chill. Come on, Bubby. He just wants to go to daddy. And he'll that. just hang out like a, like a little perch, you know? Very cool. <laughs> it's like he's just lying on a log. Exactly, exactly. Now, usually I can get them to climb up me, like my leg or something. That's a good boy. Come on. Come ah. on. Come on. Hey. Come on, you got it. Come on. Oh my gosh, Come look on. at that tongue. Come on. Very Good boy. cool. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you, man. Wonderful performance. <laughs> I'm very proud of him. 